Hey guys and welcome back to Tech Stuff. Today we have a very interesting product, something that I feel quite strongly about. Um, it's basically the air you breathe, okay? Pretty important, so stay tuned. We'll check it out after this. Okay, so I don't know how important this is for you. It depends where you live but the quality of the air you breathe is pretty important to a lot of people. In fact, certain cities around the world, they will shut down an entire city if the air quality is so bad. Here in Italy, the air is not too bad, but it depends. Some cities, it can get really, really bad. Like, I don't know if you've noticed, but now with winter right here, the air quality's kind of gone down. I know when I'm walking my babies in the stroller on the sidewalk, I can immediately smell the smog, the car fumes. It's, it's really, really bad. And I live in a city that's not really that big. Uh, just down the road, though, is the city of Milan, and the quality of air there can get really bad. In fact, I know people that will purposely leave the city on the weekends, take their kids out into the mountains, just so they can get good quality air to breathe for the weekend. Crazy, I know, but for a lot of people, this is really, really important. In fact, it's so important that these guys have done something about it. So basically, it's an air purifier that you can take around with you. It's mobile. It also has a sensor that you use with your app to sort of detect what the quality of the air is around you. Designed in California, really clever. Let's open this up and see how it looks. So the air quality tracker senses how dirty your air is and then the wind purifier cleans it up. The purifier cleans air around you, it removes dust, allergens, smoke, pollution from the air. It actually has a 360 degree air suction via 936 inlets. Now this actually gets sucked into a medical grade filter, okay? It's interlaced with silver, it captures 99% of the particles, and the silver kills microbes such as bacteria and mold. The thing I like about it, it has this detachable sensor. This sensor will send information to your mobile phone. I like the fact that you can take it off and you can take it with you. You can attach it to your handbag, you can attach it to your briefcase. Wherever you're going, you can know what the quality of the air is around you. By using the app, you will also get notified when your filter is about to run out, which is really cool because then you can make sure that you have one to replace it before it does. Okay, the app is really simple to use. I'm quite interested to see what cities have the worst air? You can see if you look around. I mean, that's crazy. Let's look here in North America. Oh, Mexico. Look at that. 151. That is bad. The air is unhealthy in this city here in Irapuato. Yeah, that's bad. Um, all of Mexico looks like the air is a bit bad there. North America doesn't look too bad. I'm interested to see what New York is like, although there's not a lot of traffic in New York. I mean, if you consider other cities that have much more traffic. Yeah, you see, it's not that bad in New York. I'm just looking now, Los Angeles should be really bad. Let's have a look. LA, okay, LA is a little bit worse. But what is this city up here? Oh boy, look at that. This city over here, not looking too good in Hanford. In, I think that's California, right? Yeah. Oh boy. Oh, even worse over here. What's this? This is Turlock. Unhealthy for sensitive groups. It's not always about pollution. Sometimes it could be like fires that are going on. You know, I know when the California fires were going on, the air quality was really, really bad. So I've been looking around for which city, which country has the worst air quality. And 
Look at this, 500 plus. I mean, it's off the charts. Where is this? It's China. China has got some really, I mean, it's more than one city as well. Some really, really bad air quality. But then again, I have seen news broadcasts about the bad air quality in China and a lot of cities that just shut down. People get really, really sick. Okay, at the bottom here, you've got your little air tracker, okay? You leave it inside the purifier to charge. Then you can actually take this out and it's got a nice clip sort of feature and its own little on button here. Now, according to the lights, it will tell you the quality of the air that's currently around you. So as you walk around town or wherever you go, this thing is gonna notify you of the air quality. It's busy adjusting now, but it's saying that the air quality is not too great inside here. <laughs> So basically it's got two modes. It's got manual and automatic. The manual mode, you can turn this top dial here and that will adjust the airflow and the suction in of air. Or you can press this automatic little button here and that will detect the quality of the air around you and self adjust. I like this little kickstand that they've got here because you can leave this on your desk. Also, it comes with a USB charger, so you just put it into your computer or laptop while you're working, which is really, really cool. Wind was also kind enough to send us a little extra. This is the attachment for the stroller, and so it's quite easy to fit. You attach it to your child's stroller and have the purifier right here where they're breathing. Um, I can just imagine now, pushing the stroller through the city and polluted environments, you're making sure that your child is breathing in safe air. To change the air filter is quite easy. This bottom part screws off and here is the air filter. Now this is a medical grade air filter and the app actually notifies you once this is almost completely used up. So obviously the question is how long does one of these little air filters, you know, last? And that really depends on the amount of pollution and the quality of air where you're living. What are you putting this little filter through? From what I can see, it should last at minimum of three months if you're in quite a polluted environment, like a typical city environment. But the air quality, particularly in the United States, is pretty clean, so it should last up to six months. Now, I know what some of you might be thinking. Is something like this completely necessary? I mean, how bad could the air around us actually be? And maybe a couple years ago, it wasn't necessary. But you've just got to look around today, watch the news, and see that things have gotten pretty bad in terms of pollution. And now, how is that really affecting our kids' lungs? What I can tell you is one of our previous trips, we went to one of those body exhibitions. In fact, it was in Vegas. And they had, you know, those dissected human bodies and they had lungs on display. And you could actually physically see the effects of pollution on a person's lungs. It had like a lot of black spots. Now, it wasn't as bad as a smoker's lungs, which was just covered in tar, but it still was pretty bad. And they said that was somebody typically living in a city environment. So, I mean, this is the effect this pollution is having on your body. Can you imagine what it's doing to your kids? Guys, I tell you, for $200, I would spend this kind of money to make sure my kids have very healthy lungs. They grow up stronger. My son has a bit of a breathing problem. He does suffer from asthma and he has since he was a baby. And so something like this is really priceless. I really encourage you to go check them out. This is Wind from California. Really, really cool product. Guys, thank you for watching another episode of Tech Stuff. We will see you soon with another awesome video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.